if it comes to team fighting, Sijuani can she can be very very destructive. She can be destructive and she can be useless depending on how well you land those ultimates. There are your teams. Godfrey's first time on the big stage. Neil's first time since qualifying for the LCS on the big stage. Let us know, guys. Hashtag GIA win. Hashtag OG win. Battle in the middle lane. It's two Spaniards. Pepe Nero and ex Peke. And it's LeBlanc into Morgana. How long Giants can push it? They're halfway there. Now, I didn't quite see it, but I think uh, Amazing took a second blue buff to get back the XP lost by a camping bottom. Um, but they're going on the bot lane here. Arik gets caught. No, respect flash. That's a flash away, but an instant flash into Pulverize and hit. But the Lantern head. pulls Audrey backwards. The Chanted Arrow stops Niels for a second, but that's first blood to the newcomer on the stage. Here comes Whirlip. He slams him against the wall. They get frozen by the prison. And that's two kills to Giants. But there was a report, a reply teleport from Soaz. He's put down the Equalizer 2v3, and the Giants are low. Soaz is looking for more, but he's overheated. And he's not able to turn that one around. So with the forced back timings, we do see some more type items. We'll touch on that. Pepe Nero looking for meals. He didn't find a target. Amazing, however, has found Godfrey. Gonna keep running him down with those hate spikes. Soaz does not have equalizer for a few more seconds. The lantern Ooh. pulls Audrey backwards, but the pulverize knocks them both up. That's another kill to Origin. Amazing's on the board. The flame spitter puts Soaz on the board. Three kills for the newcomers to the LCS. And they've got an uncontested tower to put damage down. And there are a thousand of them. Well, very well played from Mithy indeed. We do see Whirlip as well as Frederick in this middle lane. But Mithy is a little bit out of position. He's actually not oh, Whirlip back. We do see Niels has joined the party. Whirlip with a defensive knock, a knock up from the uh, Fates call. And now Whirlip is chunked down from the ring. The Ash Arrow comes out. It does land onto Mithy. He's going to be falling very prey in a second. No, he's still alive. He manages to hit, but the minion to survive. The minion to actually get he out. managed to get that one out. That was fantastic play from Mithy, 0-0-4. And this does actually relate back to the story we told at the beginning of the day, where Giants, they make plays, but they don't necessarily measure the cost. So, Pepinier is looking for Mithy, gonna decide to peel away. Soez has got the equalizer available, may use it to cut off Giants on the side lane. He does, in fact, do that. Maybe a little too far away for the rest of Origin to respond. Niels is looking forward. That's a flash into Dark Binding. Audrey catches Soez up, but the Spitter is still burning him away. Agony's embrace is melting Giants on the side lane. It's a two for one as the Glacial Prison locks up Origin. A flash away from Godfrey. He's trying to survive, and it looks like he will. Frederick Ooh. is going to face plant into Peke, and that is going to be a three for one trade in exchange for a tower. Well, let's take a look. I'm expecting an arrow here from Audrey. This one flies out. It does connect onto Mithy as he re-emerges from Fate's Call. So is his knock backwards, stunned up by Whirlip. Now we see Mithy finally forced to flash away. They've dropped Whirlip's now, and Peke is flashing forward with the Soul Shackles. The Rend plus one more spear is enough to get a kill, and Niels almost dropped by Pepe Nero, but almost is simply not enough. Amazing, runs him down, and that's three kills for zero, and the potential of another dragon. Making sure the arrow doesn't hit his teammates, and this fight went long enough for or, for Origin to just deal so much damage. Oh, they, they're Audrey, getting contested on the back. Uh, that's that's very brave. He's got caught. He's got knocked up. Willard arrived, but Audrey was on they the, the barrel. wrong side Where? of the river. Kane and the QSS super important against that hard CC from Giants. This is a scary point. The wave went thin. So us wants to push it, but they have no idea where LeBlanc is. She could flank, and this could be good. Well, let's see if they can. Niels has already used the QSS. He'll now pop. Flash is still available. Pepe Nero has found him. Giants have got one of the main damage dealers away from the fight, but they do lose their support. Now Amazing is the next to fall, and Frederick, he manages to survive from the Equalizer. Mithy knocks him back, delays, tries to keep himself alive a little while longer, but it's Giants that find three kills. Kills, and all of a sudden, and we see ourselves in a position where Pepe's Origin... flanking again. He's doing the same thing on the other side of the map because of the dragon timing, and Origin's buying into it. All right, let's see what they can do. Pepe's got caught out. He lands Ooh. a dog finding, and instantly Pepe Nero is down. 5v4 now, as we see Frederick Four on the retreat. Glacial Prison has been used, and Whirlip has got not a lot of options to throw down that Gnar. He does hold on to it for a while, knocks him into free space. There's no stun. The Ash Arrow finally, but again, it's too little and too late. And Origin. They just instantly win the fight by taking out Pepinero with a great dark binding. Yeah, you don't fool Pekka twice, you know, season mid lane, and he saw it once. As well, we did see Pekka surviving the trade. So, Baron empowered minions on the bottom lane. Mithy gonna get caught by those ethereal chains. Is amazing, is looking to set up a flank. So is, put on a very early equalizer. This could be just 
distraction while they secure the tower. Three members of Origin flying forward. The Glacial Prison does absolutely nothing. Niels is able to scare away Frederick as he flashes over the wall. So tower secured and a lot of initiation tools all used. Amazing, he's looking up for the LeBlanc flank. Well, we do see Pepinero lands right in his head. Mithy flashes forward, gets the knockup, headbutts him backwards. Amazing. May go down. The ignite is burning. We did see the inhibitor turret falling. Amazing. Was killed by ignite, but Godfrey is traded in return. Ash Arrow connects there onto Niels, but it simply does not matter. Frederick is killed on the front line as another inhibitor now falls. Origin have taken out super minion uh, inhibitors in the top and the bottom lane. Three members of Giants are down for another 30 seconds, and they're committing to the Nexus turrets. This is going to be the final push. Yeah, good resource manage management while they're from Origen. They basically know that they can put two people on Pepe and still win the remaining 5-3v4 because they're so far ahead. Nice fight, clean execution, only seven kills, eight now away, but they're getting the Nexus and they're taking their first game in the European LCS. Origen are on the board, taking down Giants in 37 minutes. Within five and a half minutes of that Baron, they were able to close the game out, really showing how important it is to secure that objective. Slow and steady wins, wins the, race. the race. Well, not according to the graph. <laughs>